You know, there's something truly fascinating, but also really scary happening right now. You and I are living in one of the greatest times in history. At this very moment in time, there are more opportunities for you to capture a piece of the pie and to become rich than any other time in history. But it's also really scary how many people fail to recognize the opportunities that are sitting right in front of them. And here's the thing. You can either start taking advantage of these opportunities or you can just ignore them and you can be left behind and continue living in the infinitely turning hamster wheel where you never have enough and you're always struggling to exist. The choice is yours, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start taking advantage of these opportunities so that you too can live a life of purpose, freedom, and financial prosperity. Now, before you do this, it's first really important that you understand how we got here in the first place. Our existence as humans is kind of broken up into three different stages, and each stage brought new opportunities that only a small percentage of humans took advantage of to become rich. For the vast majority of our existence, we've lived largely unprosperous and nomadic lifestyles, consisting of hunting and foraging for food. The rich people during this time were typically the people who were the strongest physically, because they could hunt for food and go into war with other tribes and capture various goods. And this was the first stage that lasted for the majority of our existence. The second stage saw gradual but very small prosperity. In this stage, we adopted agriculture, which led to a more secure and promising way of supplying food, which then allowed us to focus more of our time on building established towns and cities. And during this time, humans became a lot more civilized. And so the rich people during this time weren't really the physically strong people like how it was in the first stage. In this stage, it became more about mental strength, right? Being able to negotiate and make deals, be creative, persistent, intelligent, and determined. But then we fast forward to the third stage, and this is the stage that we're all living in right now. This stage can be best characterized by an unprecedented, sustained level of economic growth. In this stage, the quality of our lives went from improving slowly and gradually to exploding exponentially, particularly within the last 200 years after the Industrial Revolution. And so if in the first stage of our existence, only the physically strong people were rich, and in the second stage, typically the mentally strong people were rich, who exactly are the rich in the third stage? And what exactly can you start doing as soon as today to count yourself amongst these people? Well, my theory is that the richest people today are people who are technologically the strongest. Think about all the wealthiest people that you know today. All of them have become rich by either taking advantage of technology or by creating some type of technological advancement. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go and create the next Tesla or Microsoft, no. But what I am saying is that thanks to technology, it's literally nothing for a young 16 year old to go start an online business where he or she is able to source products from China to then sell those products to someone in Utah. Or for a 10 year old to become a multimillionaire by simply playing with toys. Because they've got millions of people from all around the world who are able to go to a website called YouTube to watch their videos. Or for a 30 year old who's able to quit their job because they learned a new skill online that's able to make them way more money than they could ever make at their day job. You see, nowadays, the people who are becoming rich are either creating new technology or they're taking advantage of existing technology. And that's something that I believe every single person watching this video can start doing today, taking advantage of technology. And so the question becomes, how exactly can you start taking advantage of technology to become rich? Well, I want to suggest a blueprint for you to follow that you can use as a guideline for taking yourself to where you currently are to where you want to be, which is to become rich. Essentially, with this blueprint, there are three different levels that you have to get through, including one bonus level, which we'll talk about at the very end. And the goal is to get through all of these levels, and by the time you reach the third level, you'll be considered rich. And there are very specific steps and things that you have to start doing in your life if you want to progress through these levels. And by the way, when I say rich, yes, I do mean like financial freedom, but also time freedom and location freedom. You can live your life exactly the way you want. There are no limitations on what you can buy, where you can go, and what you can do, okay? And so most people, when they're first starting out on their journey to becoming rich, start out in the first level
level, which we'll call the Washington level. So in this level, which is where most people are, you have a decent five-figure job, but you really don't have any useful skills at all. You basically have no money saved up and you more than likely have no definitive plan for your future. The people in this level are kind of just like floating through life with no real purpose. They waste their time playing video games or binge watching shows on Netflix or just scrolling through TikTok and they never dedicate time toward achieving their goals. And so if you want to upgrade your life to the second level, then the next step is actually really simple. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your day job, but instead of wasting your time playing video games or just like scrolling through TikTok, you're instead going to use your free time toward learning a new skill and just kind of surrounding yourself with better information. And you can do this by watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts, or getting a free trial to some type of e-learning platform. You can also read or start listening to self-help audiobooks so that you can start improving the information that you're feeding yourself. And for this, I would actually recommend using today's sponsor, Audible. So in my video on how to build wealth from zero, I talk a lot about investing in yourself. And in that video, I shared about the experiences that helped me to finally find the path toward financial freedom. And I owe part of that to my time spent listening to audiobooks and podcasts. And thanks to Audible, you guys can start investing in yourself too. Whether it's listening while you drive, work out, or do chores, Audible truly offers an incredible selection of audiobooks. I recommend starting out with one of my all-time favorites, The Richest Man in Babylon. Based in the Babylonian Empire, the author shares seven simple lessons on how to keep more of what you earn, get out of debt, and put your money to work. And this was the first audiobook that truly changed the way that I saw money. I also love that Audible not only has books, but podcasts too. You see, Audible is the home of storytelling, and when you become a member, you'll get access to the latest titles from every genre. And you can choose one title a month to keep forever from the entire catalog, including new releases and bestsellers. And right now, new members get 30 days completely free. All you have to do is just use the code MAYO or click on my link down below in the description or the pinned comment. And thanks again to Audible. Now, your main goal, your main objective in this level, in level one, is just to start making yourself a more valuable person. And ideally, you want to start earning some additional money on the side in addition to your main job. And you can do this either by starting a new side hustle, which is what my entire channel is about, or you can use the new skills that you learned to go and start some type of new side business. But either way, by taking action, not making excuses, and just kind of getting yourself out there and making things happen in your life, you should be able to level up to the second level, which we'll call Hamilton. Now, in this level, you still have a standard nine to five job, but you've started earning additional income either through a side hustle or some type of side business. And because you're earning more money, you're able to save more money, preferably somewhere between three to $10,000. And unlike in the first level where you didn't have any useful skills, in this level, you've started learning new skills. And these skills will become insanely useful because in this level, it's time to start putting those skills to use to help level up your income. And so basically in this level, you'll be taking any of the money that you saved up as well as all of the additional income that you've started earning from your side hustle or side business. And you're gonna use that money to start creating new opportunities for yourself. Now, my recommendation is that you focus on some type of online business. Because remember, the people who are getting rich in this day and age are the people who are taking advantage of existing technology. And once again, my entire channel is dedicated to talking about different online businesses. But to keep things simple, I'm gonna recommend that you start one of three different businesses. The first is a service-based business. This could be doing things like web development, copywriting, uh, video editing, or any number of services that are in extremely high demand because of the internet age that we live in. And so let's just say, for example, that you decided to do web development. You could just go to websites like Upwork and Fiverr and start finding clients who will pay you money for your services. Now, you could also go the route of starting an agency. Let's say, for example, that you started a web development agency. Companies would come to you to help them build a website, but they would also come to you to help with things like copy for the website and maybe help them get their website ranked on Google and perhaps run their pay-per-click ads. And the only thing you would have to do as the agency owner is just outsource all of these different parts of your business to other people. You could go to a website like Upwork to find people who can do the copy for the website and then find someone who can do the SEO and then find someone who can help set up successful PPC ads. It doesn't have to be complicated. A good friend of mine recently started his own web development agency at 18 years old with no previous experience. And he's been consistently getting new clients and just outsourcing all of the different aspects 
aspects of the business to people from around the world using sites like Upwork. Now, the second business type is a content-based business. This one's probably the most obvious, but this is doing things like making YouTube videos, TikToks, becoming an Instagram influencer, or even making a blog. Now, the world of social media is massive. There is an entire industry behind even a simple Instagram reel that's only 20 seconds long. People are making tens of thousands, and in many cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars per month by providing value in the form of content, whether it's educational content or entertainment content. And to get started with this business, all you need is a phone, an internet connection, and a willingness to be consistent and to learn. And I've actually got what I consider to be the best YouTube course that you can find coming out very soon, and I'll leave a link to that down below. But anyways, the third business type is a sales business. And this business type is probably the most scalable of them all. Basically though, a sales business are things like drop shipping, um, opening an Etsy store, really just anything that allows you to sell a product over the internet. For example, I've been documenting on my channel, creating a print on demand Etsy shop. Basically the only thing that I have to do is just create the designs for the t-shirts in my Etsy shop. But the print on demand service that I'm using will manufacture the t-shirts and ship them out to the customer for me. And so I literally have to do no work minus coming up with a few simple designs. And the same is true with drop shipping, Amazon FBA, or really just any type of sales based business that allows you to sell products over the internet. And by the way, when I say sell a product, this could either mean a physical product like t-shirts on Etsy, or it could mean a digital product such as stickers, digital calendars, or whatever. There are people making millions of dollars per year by selling digital products. And so the opportunities in this internet age are endless. Now, once you've started a business and have began making a lot more money, you'll level up to the third level called Jackson. In this level, you start to implement these skills to create new opportunities for yourself. As a result of these new opportunities, your income starts to increase relatively quickly. And because you have a lot more disposable income, it means that you can start working on expanding whatever it was that you were doing in level two to continue earning even more money. If you started a print on demand business, for example, perhaps try reinvesting some of that money back into your business with like like pay-per-click ads or things like that to continue expanding your business that much more and making even more money. Other than that though, other than scaling and continuing to double down on what's already working for you, there's not much else that you have to do in level three. Just continue doing what's already working and just turn up the notch a little bit, right? Like continue scaling it. And when you do this, eventually you'll reach level four, which is the Benjamin level. Now, not every person wants to or even necessarily needs to reach level four. You see, because technically at level three, you're already rich, right? Like you already have a multiple six figure income more than likely because you started some type of side hustle or side business that you were able to scale. And because of this, you have financial freedom, but also time freedom and location freedom. And for most people, this is great. But for those of you who desire more, the Benjamin level is a place where only the top 1% of people exist. These people have seven figure incomes. Usually they'll have multiple streams of income, including multiple businesses, performing assets, and more than likely they have people who work for them or who they've partnered with who can continue making them even more money. Now, to be honest, level three and level four are almost the same. You see, because in level three, you are still making really good money. And so what you can do is you can take that money and you can start using it to either start new businesses or buy performing assets like stocks and real estate. But the difference is that in level four, you can also do all those things, but at a much larger and faster scale. But basically the difference between level three and level four is that at level four, you're just making ridiculously high amounts of money and you're able to use this money to scale your wealth even faster. Hey, you're amazing and I appreciate you so much for being here. I mean it, don't ever forget you can accomplish anything you want in this life. I'm watching you. I believe in you. And as always, I'll see you again very soon. Take care.